Okay, so uh, the first problem that we have is, if you guys look up here, we have 6e divided by 5d times 15cd squared divided by 8a. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for this problem, all right, go around, thank you. Uh, for this problem, we notice we don't have any factors, right, Adara? We don't have any binomials or polynomials or anything. We're just simply dealing with monomials, all right? So when you have a problem like this, let's just multiply them together. However, real quick, does it matter if I have three times four or four times three? No. No. So can I rewrite this? Right now I have multiply, 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 multiply. So it doesn't matter what order I'm multiplying all this, because all I'm doing is multiplying, right? So it doesn't matter which order I multiply it. No. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the numbers first. That one's bad. So let's do 6 times 15 times c times c times d squared all over 5 times 8 times d times a. Does everybody see what I did? I just rewrote it, but what I did was, I'm sorry, let's raise the a in front of the d. I'm just rewriting them so they're a little bit more in order. All right, and why this is important because Guys, if you want to, you can multiply 6 times 15, and you can multiply 5 times 8, and then simplify it, right, if you want to. 6 times 15 is going to be 4 would be 60, um, 5 would be 75, so it would be 90, right? So you'd have, you could do 90 over 40 and then simplify that. But another way you could do it is say, can I simplify the 6 and the 8? Can I reduce 6 to 8? Yeah, I can divide the top and bottom by 2, right? If I divide the top and bottom by 2, I'm going to be left with 3 over 4. And can I simplify 15 and 5? Yeah. Yeah, divide it by 5. Therefore, now I'm going to have 9 on the top, right? C times C is C squared. And then can I simplify D, D squared divided by D? Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to leave me with D. Wait. Then on the bottom, I have 4 times 1, which is 4, A. Yes. Do you have a question on what I did? Reduce, We're just simplifying this. I don't know, but I don't get why don't you just do 6 times 15? You can. Do it. Multiply it. That's fine. 6 times 15 is 90. Then divide it by 40. Now simplify this. When you simplify this, divide it by 10 on both sides, right? And guess what you get? 9 fourths, which is the answer here. It's just another way to do it. So if you're more comfortable on multiplying everything out and then simplifying it, that's fine. I'm just showing you another way to do it without having to do it, because what if the numbers were bigger, you know, and it was too hard for you to do? All right? And what if you didn't have your calculator with you? It's just another way to go through it. So I just wanted to open that up to you guys. But then the other thing I wanted to make sure I let you guys know about is I grouped the variables together so then I can apply the law of exponents to get my simplified answer. So when multiplying, and you already have multiplication going on, just multiply it through and organize them. So then you have your final answer there. Okay, so that's another example to write down.